Good afternoon, everyone. Vital signs of the planet NASA. Land ice showing that Greenland is losing ice left, right, and center. 281 gigatons a year. Take a look at their 2016 charts there. Let's compare that with DMI that shows all-time record ice gain across Greenland's ice sheet. And NASA, as I say this, this is like a father to a child. I'm disappointed in you. And you can always subscribe to ADAPT 2030. I will bring you the correct data for the ice because it looks like you need the help right now. NASA reporting that Greenland ice sheet has been losing an alarming amount of ice at 281 gigaton loss per year. Their graphs show it. It's all time record low. Well, maybe not. Let's jump over to DMI. That's the Danish Meteorological Institute. All-time record ice gain since the 1990s. It's up about 200 gigatons. So NASA, your numbers are off by 60% plus. And I am kind of disappointed. Seeing how my tax dollars go into your funding and you can't get that right. Now let's jump over to NSIDC. This shows you the Greenland surface melt extent, 2012, look at that, over one and a half million acres. Fast forward to 2016, that number has been cut in half, 750,000. Also, I want you to notice the flat line at the bottom, 2017 melt percentage, flat, 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 flat. We need to go back to the 1980s to find anything that's begun that flat. Any of the years since 1990, you can always find some melting blip, at least in April, that there's some melting right in the beginning or at least the first week of April. This year, nothing. It's flat. So let's jump back over to DMI here and take a look at the Greenland ice sheet accumulation. This goes from September 1st, 2016 until now. See that dark blue? That's how much ice is gaining. Everywhere else is flat. There's no loss. Do you see any red on that sheet there? No. But let's just jump over to the NSIDC chart. How deceiving is this? See how they flip the colors? The oranges and the reds are the gains from their September 2015 to August 2016 chart. Now let's compare these two. I know they're two different years here, but I'm bringing it to your attention. When in the world did ice gain and cooling become oranges and reds? And how is that ice loss has become blues? This is insane. If you don't have time to look and dig into the actual captions at the bottom and look at them carefully, you would look at that NSIDC chart and think that that is mass loss across the Greenland ice sheet. We have been brought up our entire lives being taught that reds and oranges mean heat. And now reds and oranges suddenly become the gain on the ice sheet. What is this alternative universe where truth is lies and lies is truth? And NASA, I am so disappointed truly that you are still on this agenda. This information that there's so much loss on the Greenland ice sheet, it's truly unbelievable. I sit here, I shake my head. Astounding. Truly astounding. How can you not be following the DMI? And, and please support my work on Patreon. I'll keep more stories like this coming to you. I hope this brings more clarity to what I see in my daily life when I do this research. And you really will start to question what's fake news and what's real news when you look at these kind of numbers coming out and see who gets press time and front page headlines. I encourage you to do your own research. All the links are below in the description box. 